Rameshwaran was exceedingly friendly from the very first moment and to the last. I, I remember getting these uh, cards around Christmas time and wishing me happy holiday season uh, from from Raman Schrager in Innsbruck. It was just wonderful to to have him as a friend. And then and then Wolfgang suggested, why don't you the two of you go at it in the uh, the bullet? And so so we we organized these dialogues and and uh, Raman Schrager would say stuff and I would say stuff and then then Joseph Nivyadomsky got into the act and we, he said stuff and. We went back and forth, and, and it got reproduced in this book that was just uh, published by by Bill. Bill published uh, the uh, the prophetic law, uh, and the dialogues are there. Uh, so I knew both of them, and I have to say that Rene changed profoundly in in virtue of his relationship with Raman Schrager. When I and, and I'm going to just talk about basically one theme very briefly uh, in which that took place around the theme of sacrifice. When I knew Rene. Uh, sacrifice for him was still being called, he still called it primitive sacrifice. Prim sacrifice and primitive was eventually, that became politically incorrect to say primitive. And so one changed the word archaic sacrifice. But when I first met Rene, he was saying uh, primitive religion, primitive sacrifice, uh, organized culture around scapegoating and around the uh, sequestering of violence outside, which was be named the sacred, and when the sacred broke away from its outside place and circulated around the city would be known as, as violence. So violence and the sacred are one and the same for him. Um, and that's really all there was. Christianity uh, and Judaism were, a for him, a progressive de dismantling or deconstruction of the sacrificial organization of culture, which begins for him in Judaism. Uh, this is all pre shrugger uh, begins for him in, in Judaism and, and reaches its culmination in the Passion, which is for him the sacrifice to end all sacrifices. And this is all expressed quite clearly and quite overtly in De Chose Caché de Puy la Fondation du Monde, Things Hidden Since the Foundation of the World, which he pu first published in French in 1978. I think there was a version 77, my, again, my date's 77, 78, but it was, it was one of those two years that, 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 that uh, Deschamps' Cachet was published. Uh, Schwager uh, was, at, by that point, already reading René, and in fact, in the early version of, of uh, Deschamps' Cachet, you can see a footnote to Schwager. There's actually a reference to Schwager in, in one of the footnotes of, of Deschamps' Cachet. Uh, what happened was that Schwager said, look, a sacrifice is used in a positive way in Christianity and you're not giving any attention to that positive way in which it's used in Christianity, uh, the Eucharist and, and various other in, in ways of interpreting. Uh, and and Rene, I remember seeing Rene talk with Schwager. They would walk together at Sefrasi La Salle. We were all invited to, well, the students and, and, and lots of the, the Germans and the French we all got together at Sefrasi La Salle in 1983. And there was these wonderful scenes when, when Rene would just spend a long time just walking with Ronald Schwager and, and talking back and forth, but you said this, no, but you said this, but they were they were friends, and, and you know when Schwager said this is not a rivalrous relationship, he was absolutely uh, on target. They, they they were buddies, and it was it was for me a great fulfillment. It's like what I wanted for Rene when I think about my own desires was was to have to have a colleague with whom he could share ideas and try out ideas, a colleague of his own age and a peer, and he, he seemed to me he found that in Ryman Schwager and in, in, in thinking he found it in other ways in Michel Serre. But that, that articulated itself in somewhat a different fashion. With Raimund Schrager, that was where he was able to articulate in full his relationship to Christianity. And Schrager got him to understand sacrifice, but Rene actually expanded upon that idea because he also continued to talk about the penal system. And, and he had had some references in Violence in the Sacred to the ways in which certain kinds of sacrificial behavior can, uh, continued in the penal system. And then Paul de Michel, of course, wrote the wonderful book about that's translated as barren sacrifice, and it's a way of talking about uh, legitimized state violence that has continued through through our culture and that that, that is not entirely dismantled uh, still. Okay, uh, I'm I'm not going to say much more, but I would like to say that other just to mention of just one or two other things that we were we talked about this over the last couple of days that. Positive mimesis was another theme that has come up in this book, and you will you'll see lots of references to the discussion of, uh, especially by Schwager, of positive mimesis. And, but also something that has become increasingly important for me 
which is the link between evolutionary theory and original sin. I mean, Schwager, the fact, one of the last letters, the most, I think, in many ways, the most important letter in the book, it's not the final letter, but I think it's near the final letter, uh, concerns the possibility uh, of, of original sin uh, and being linked to mimetic desire. And it has opened, for me, a way of thinking about the ethical at the moment of harmonization. It seems to me what, what we can reject, what, what this discussion enables us to think, is that we can reject the idea that there's something bad or, or sinful about human beings in a kind of uh, innate way. And we can, what we can accept is the idea that the possibility, the potential for the ethical may already be there at the moment of harmonization, even if it's not fully expressed and, not, and takes maybe potentially uh, thousands of years to articulate. Uh, but it's, it's already there. It seems to me that was the, the great insight, in my view, of, of Ryan Schwab. So this book gives a lot of food for thought. I'm, I'm delighted to be uh, and honored to be here to, to uh, launch it. And I, I see Scott moving towards me to get me off the stage here so, so that you can uh, drink and buy the book and, and enjoy yourselves. So I thank you and I wish you a good evening.